Okay, I'm gonna talk about Excel events in a little bit more detail now. We first saw Excel events when we talked about what is an event, and we saw the workbook open event, where if you open the workbook, you can write code, or if you activate a worksheet, you can write code. Um, we want to, right now, write some code that will highlight when someone changes the selected cell on a sheet, it'll highlight the row and column that they selected. And I'm just doing this so you get a little bit more exposure into events. So remember, um, I'm, I'm going to write an event that applies to the entire workbook. So I want to be in this, this workbook module here under the Microsoft Excel Objects folder. And I, I want to go to this drop down and I want to select workbook. And then I want to select something called sheets, sheet selection change here. And if you don't know what these things are here, you can Google them. I mean, there's so many of the, so many of these events. Uh, you can Google them and find out. But here's one example: this workbook sheet selection change. It has to do with if you change a selection on a work in the workbook which is pretty straightforward and what we want to do is declare an in, an integer variable here dim i as integer let me take the cap locks off dim i as integer and then we want to put a message box just so we see what's happening here uh, you selected row then I'll append to it target dot row and column target dot column so this target is the new selection that the user makes and all I'm doing is gonna pop up a message box and so and say you selected that row and that column and and this again is this is the cell they put their cursor in so let's go to our workbook let's go to our workbook here and if I select you know row 4 column E it tells me you selected row 4 column 5 and E column 5 is is column or column 5 is column E 1 2 3 4 5 so our message box works and if I change my selection like select this I get a new message box that says you selected row 2 column 2 and this will and so on and so forth all this message box is doing is telling me what row and what column I'm selecting and notice I can go to a different sheet and I can get the same message box you know you selected row 8 row 5 so this works across the whole workbook it, on any sheet when I change my selection that's what this that's what this event is concerning when when you change your selection on any sheet in the workbook now let me comment that out so you, you, you see what it does and now all we want to do is uh, write a for next loop so we'll do for I equal to 1 to target dot row next and all we want to do here so we want to start in the first row and go to whatever row the target is in whatever row they selected and we want to do cells um, row I comma target dot column dot interior dot color index is equal to six so all I'm doing is setting some properties of the cell and what cell well whatever cell I'm at you know whatever cell is row I and the column that they selected and notice we're gonna we this loop is gonna apply this uh, color index property 
to every cell that is in row one to the target row. So now if we if we look at what we did, if I go over here, and let's, let me just make a new sheet. If I select this cell, look it, it made all the cells from row one to row two, and it, it stopped at row two because that's where I selected it. If I go here, it's highlighting all the cells in this column from row one to the cell I selected. So you see, that's what that's what we just did. We just programmed this. And you know, you could see if I select multiple uh, you could see wherever I put my cursor, it's gonna it's gonna basically turn it yellow as far down from row one to as far down as where I selected. So that's all this does. But to, to see this a little bit better, let me, every time I do this, let me change the interior color index to white or transparent so you can see this a little better. Let me just do this. Or actually none. So I'll do index is equal to XL none. So what this does is, is set the color index property of all the cells on the worksheet. So all cells to no, no color. So all this does is it sets all cells to have no color. That's what this line does. And then we know what this line does. So each time I make a new selection, it's going to do this. It's going to set the cells to have no color. Watch. So there, it set all the cells to have no color, and then it highlighted the column down to the row I selected. So you can see now it's getting a little bit cooler because every time I make a new selection, it's clearing out, it's, it's setting the cells, all the cells on the worksheet to have no color, and then it's doing this code here which is coloring which is coloring some certain cells in particular it's coloring from row 1 to the target row and it's it's doing that now let's do the same thing for the column so all i need to do is go from i equal to 1 to target.column and change this to i and change this to target.row. So this loop loop to color down a column and this loop here loop to color across a row. And now we'll see that I get my coloring down a column and across rows so it's coloring all the way across to where I selected and all the way down to where I selected so now we're getting some cool effects and that's all I wanted to show you in this video is that this is an event and if I insert another sheet here this works across worksheets and the event again is the workbook sheet selection change so when you change your selection in the workbook here it can do some stuff let's also let me do something because maybe you want to see what this sh object is so let's do message box sh.name and now let's see what we get it says sh.name is sheet 2 so that means you know we can we, we can also access what sheet we're on here so you can put an if statement say you only wanted to have this functionality around a particular sheet well you can put an if statement here you know like if sh.name is equal to sheet 1 then do all this and if 
So now this functionality is only going to work on sheet one. If I go over to this arrays worksheet, it doesn't work. It still tells me arrays. That's because I didn't comment that out. I should comment this out. But it doesn't highlight anything. But then I go to sheet one. Oops. put a breakpoint here to see what's going on. I'm on sheet one. There's sheet one. And I think I need to change this to capital S. Let me go back up here and run this. Sheet one has a capital S. If I run this now, there we go. So I had again the, the capitalization matters when you when you want to do something like this. So now I'm on sheet one, and it's, it's telling me it's sheet one, and it's highlighting. But then if I go to the this arrays worksheet, I, it tells me it's arrays, but it doesn't highlight. So that's how you can use these parameters here. I'm using this sh parameter and this target parameter in this code, and th where this is the sheet that I'm on. And this target is the cell that I'm selecting. So I use that to color the cells. So just this video is just an example of more of this event, more of these events. So so look around in here and play around with that stuff. Alright, we'll move on.